welcome to episode 7 of Guess I'll Die, featuring the goblins. So, before we begin, uh, holy crap, I've been distributing the audio version of this podcast, and I've been getting traction. So, to everyone who's listening, thank you. Thank you so much. I never thought I'd have anybody that would be interested in just listening to me ramble on and act out scenes. Um, but anyways. So, uh, what we're currently doing with uh, today's episode is I'm going to basically be running... Uh, there's going to be like little segments instead of, you know, a full thing to kind of show that, you know, time has passed. So, uh, for instance, uh, everyone leveled up, by the way. Everyone is now level four, uh, which means they all got a, um, a stat point and whatever extra abilities they may have gotten. Uh, so for instance, um, Merch being the guy that he is, has taken up residence in uh, on the map here, what is C23, which is the War Chief's room. Or the Chieftain's room, sorry. And inside he finds a decent bed for a goblin and like some decent chairs and stuff for a goblin. Um... Uh, but he also finds a silver holy symbol of Lamash 2 under the bed. Uh, or, uh, under the bed? Under the pillow. Um, it's a silver holy, unholy symbol of Lamash 2 with little garnets for eyes. And he finds it and goes, huh. I wonder if we could sell this. And he takes it to, um, Asabas and goes, hey. Can we sell this? Where did you get that? I found it in the chieftain's room. And he takes Zavas to the chieftain's room. Who's under here? See? And Zavas is actually gonna take a look around. Uh, not find much. Keep looking for things. There may be more. In Shinies like this. Yeah, but can we sell this? Possibly. Cool. And so his office takes uh, an hour or so and finds a large iron key uh, under the seat. Uh, under the seat of the uh, chair that's in the room. And while they're doing that, uh, Yaller and Gretch, having taken the goblin dogs kind of out of the yard, or out of the yard, I should say, since the area they're currently in is the yard, they took the goblin dogs out of the yard so that they can, like, feast upon corpses and do clean up. And they're currently deciding what to do with the horse. General consensus, I'll let it go. Um... Is that C18? Um, and do you think we can handle a horse? I mean, I, I would, I would not want to fight one, but if we had to. Probably good. Okay. I'm gonna try getting that door. Um, does y'all actually have these tools? No. Um. She has points and disabled device, but no thieves tools. Uh, does Zavis have thieves tools? Now that I think about it. See, he has disabled device, but no thieves tools. Okay. Um, 
I believe this actually uh, carries penalties. Disabled device. Do -ba -do -do -do. Do -do -do. Let's see. Uh, um, it's not at these tools. This increases by 10. Oh. Well, either way, they're going to try and get the... Uh, Y'all are going to try and pick the lock. Um, so DC 25 instead of DC 15. She's not able to do it. Uh, Gretch isn't even really going to try... Um, what Yaller will do is motion for uh, Gretch to step back and she'll start singing and eventually, um, let's see, hardness, let's go with, um, regular wooden door. A simple wooden door, 10 hit points. Um, sound striker. Uh, no, wait, I, I can actually roll it here. It's uh, 1d4 plus 3. No, plus 4 actually, since, uh, since they are level 4 now. 1d4 plus 4, so a potential 8 damage. Uh, so 8. Okay. Um, I know it looks weird on the when I roll it, but that's only because it's like it technically you're thinking it's a crit, but it's not because it's 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 weird. Um, Uh, but let's see. Wow, really? Two eights. So it takes her about two rounds of singing. And as she does, Gretch watches uh, the door splinter and break apart as it is struck with her song. Causing the horse, which is already kind of scared, to just uh, bolt. But it's going to try and uh, stomp on the yaller as on its way out. So she has to make a reflex save. And she deftly dodges out of the way. And the horse escapes. The goblin dogs give chase for a little bit. But ultimately um, get bored. Um... And after a little bit of wandering around, uh, Merch goes back to the group. So I found this key. I found this key. And I don't know where it, where it goes to. But I have an idea. What's your idea? There was like a... What's called where... Um, where you put valuable stuff, a treasury, yeah, there's a treasury, this might go to there, hmm, fine, let's go there, and they go to the treasury and find nothing more than a small Foul-smelling room. 
with a hole in the ground. And Zabba smacks Merch of that then you fool. This isn't the treasury, it's a toilet. No, I remember there was a thing. Uh, and, and he looks around over here and pries part of the wall off to show a chest. Huh. Huh. So there it is. Well, let me see that key. He, uh, Zavis takes a look at it. Doesn't see, uh, doesn't see any traps. So he's going to take the key and turn it to uh turn to the left which causes a blade to spring out and uh try and chop him in the, in the uh in the wrist there but it just barely misses him uh it 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 connects but it hits uh, on, on his arm and he goes, ah, oh, well, that was, that could have been bad. Yeah, yeah, that could have been bad. Oh, gross, look, the blade's all rusty and nasty. Could have been bad. They open the chest to find just a whole mess of of stuff. Um, I forgot where the oh there it is. So the loot list. What they have currently in the loot list, and I should have wrote this down. But um, seven thousand four hundred and thirty-two copper. 2,490 silver. Uh, 89 gold. And 9 platinum. Just in that chest alone. Uh, there's also... Uh, a pouch of 34 flawed malachites, malachite, worth one gold each. A uh, medium chain shirt, a medium masterwork scimitar, a pair of masterwork manacles. And a golden holy symbol of Saren Ray. And a jade necklace and a fine blue silk gown with silver trim. Uh, so let me do some, some math here. Given that uh, the wild conversion rates. We're looking at something to the tune of... Oh, man. Um, uh, uh, man. Hold on. Currency. Okay, so it's, uh, let's do a thousand, okay, let's go by thousands for the copper pieces. So that's seven platinum, um, so, uh, 
16 platinum. Um, ninety three gold. Uh, and it's every hundred. So Two hundred. Oh man. Um. Wow. Uh, no, it would be two, four, nine, three times point zero one. Uh, no. Why am I doing it that way? Time divided by 100. Uh, 24 platinum. Uh, that's 30. No. 30 times. Uh, 24 plus 16, that's 40. Yeah. 40 platinum. Um, and then 92. Um, so if we're totaling it all in, in like smallest denominations, that's a total of 49 platinum, two gold, three silver, and two copper pieces in currency. That's that's four hundred and ninety gold pieces total. That's a lot of money to split uh, between everybody. Uh, medium. Chain shirt. Masterwork scimitar. Yep. Scimitar. Um. Jade necklace. Uh, 60 GP. Uh, s blue silk gown with silver trim worth 150 GP. Gold symbol of Saren Ray worth uh, 100 GPs and Masswork Manacles, uh, which Zavas is going to take. Um, Manacles. Uh, Zawas is going to take that for reasons. And the... Um... Right, the Chieftain's Room. Uh... Silver Holy Symbol.
worth 40 GP. No. There we go. A 40 a GPs. Cool. Also, the current date, I forgot to mention. Well, okay, so the current date when we go back to, like, them actually doing things. And I'll add, I'll, I'll add in, like, I'll drag over items, um, uh, that, like, the, the party has on the, that the old party had on them, um, once they get them. But the current date, once they start, you know, actually doing stuff, will be Fire Day, the second of the Lamashan. Uh, which, I believe the, uh, Lamashan, uh, if Rova was, uh, September, then, oddly enough, appropriately enough, um... Lamashan is October. Uh, so hey. On this day in October, the group has gone, for the most part, over all of, uh, well, most of Thistletop, except for the areas past where Nualia was. They're currently deciding, hey, what are we going to do with the Tentamort? So, what are we going to do with that thing? Mm, perhaps those things aren't easy to relocate. We could always try and kill it. I certainly don't want it around. Especially now that our numbers are less. We don't necessarily have the means which to keep it fed. And if I recall... The only thing in that area where that pretty long shanks was was the bodies of one of those uh, previous one of those heroes from the town, and all these notes. Uh, I forget what did. Okay, yeah, shoot more of them. Oh no, wait. Um, huh, that's funny. I. Y'all are technically has a, uh, so th when you're creating a character, um, they start off with uh, a certain amount of languages known. And then it's like, if they have a high intelligence, they can have other ones. Um, and I, the way I just basically roll that is you get extra languages equal to your intelligence modifier. But y'all are only has common goblin and dwarven um so let's add in draconic just because uh let me do a quick uh -huh. uh merch has one Zabus has uh, four, but I'm pretty sure his intelligence went up recently. Um,
Yeah, we should kill it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Well, after you. Maybe we'll find the rest of those long shanks. Those things are perceptive, so we should probably try and sneak up on it first. Right. Uh, so y'all are her stealth roll. This is the thing about stealth rolls and goblins. They're always going to be big. Like, even with a You know, 16 being their lowest. Tentaport as mage. 261 in the BC every two. Uh, well, this boy's got a decent perception, eh? Uh,. I don't have to do that. I have the dice roller. D20 plus 11. Yeah. Yeah, no, he still noticed. Um. But it's currently feasting on corpses. But it does see that they are in here. So now we get... To do initiatives. Because still hungry. Always hungry. Goodness, Zavis goes first. And then the Tentamort. Zavis goes first with a 24. I almost rolled again. The old way. Tentamort has a plus 5 initiative. And rolled a, wi a whopping 7. So, top of the round, we have Zavis. Who, not really wanting to deal with this, is just going to do what Zop does best and shuck a bomb. Uh, if I had the arrow, that'd be nice. Dealing a neat 14 damage to the Tentamort. Y'all are... Um... Y'all are... Y'all are y'all are. Holler, holler, get dollar. Um... She's gonna short bow it. Uh, oh, so I should probably give them, like, ammo, huh? She's gonna short bow it. And crit? Wow. For a total of six damage. Um. I forget who else has bows. Crossbow. I believe Mer no merch can't use it. Um, so she's the only one that's going to be making use of a bow and arrows. Uh, Gretch, Gretch is gonna also shoot at it, 
and deal one piercing damage to it. Ha ha! And Merch does what Merch do best. And uh, Merch isn't going to fly into a rage, though. He's actually going to... Wanting to get rid of this quickly, he's going to hit it with his club. Deal 11 bludgeoning damage. Um, this is its home, and it's not very intelligent. But it does know how to grab. So, the Tentamort is going to try and take one of its tentacles, which has a nasty looking stinger on it. It's going to try and sting poor Merch. But that's not going to do it. And then it's going to try and uh, tentacle him. Which also won't work. Zabus not wanting to use his bomb, another bomb. Is he gonna, just going to shoot at the thing? But not do anything. Yaller worked so well last time. No. Gretch. Uh, Twenty-two minus four. That's eight. And a Tundermort had 17. So, 5 damage. And then Merch just misses entirely. Um, allowing the thing to try and sting him and bite him again. To no effect. Zavis is actually going to move up. No, we really don't have time for this. I, I I agree. We really need to... Got other things to do. So, Zabas misses with the... Um, with his club. Yaller walks in with her longsword. Slashes it. Deals. One damage. Gretch is just like, you guys got this. It's fine. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, well, no. Even with flanking, you wouldn't get it. Tentamort wants its prey. Ooh. Um. Tentamort deals 1d6 plus 1. Two damage to to uh, merch and tries to grapple. And succeeds. Yeah, succeeds easily. Uh, Zabas would be over here. Uh, but then gets clacked over the head by uh, Zabas and dies. Uh, inside its lair is nothing. Except for the bodies of uh, Bella, Ochrist, and Kravis. Well, looks like we found the rest of them. Hmm. Ah, gross. Uh, what? Uh, gotta make sure. Aberration. Aberration is dungeoneering, if, I, if my knowledge knowledge is correct. Yep. Yeah. 
And Zabas points to this gross caviar like stuff on the corpses of um of the the late heroes. They laid eggs. We should get what we want off of them and Yeah. And then um leave get rid of these bodies. Oh, okay. Uh so Yaller is going to take the ones Uh... Hey, Gretch. Hmm, what? You want any of these wands? Ugh, what do they do? Um... With, uh, uh, just for the sake of brevity, uh, we can take ten. Uh, so this one is a wand of tree shape. Doesn't have any charge. Doesn't have that many charges left on it though. Um, Uh, we have a wand of shocking grasp and a wand of produced flame. Hmm. I don't really need any of those. Uh, she also had this cloak on her. Uh, it's a cloak of resistance. I know that you're not as resistancy as the rest of us. I should be fine. Give it much. I know he's not as swift as the rest of us or as good in the brain as the rest of us. I heard that. Uh, Masterwork Buckler, for sure, gets added to the loot list. Uh. Um. They don't really have much use for the arrows. Uh, let me just give that over to him. Nope, that's Zavas. I'm looking for merch. Cloak, clock, cloak of resistance, plus one. And then I add plus one to all of his saves. Oh, interesting. Um, and that's all that 
she has, I think. Yeah, that's all Bella has. Uh, oh wait, the the mace is cold iron. Uh, so probably that. Um, did Ochrist have a cold iron trident? I want to say he had a cold iron trident. Uh, one cold iron trident. Trident. CI. Heavy mace. Uh, Krabus. Had a cold iron warhammer and I ah, yes, the ring of protection and leather lamellar. Um, oh, he did have mass work these tools. Uh, let's see, this one has a fancy ring, some thieves tools, and this book. Book. Yeah, it's got these weird things in it. Let me see that. Oh. These are our alchemist formula. I'm taking this. What does the ring do? Yeah, well, it's a ring of protection. Uh, so, any of us that need, you know, a little extra AC. Oh, God. I, John and Got the she all goofed again. I'm gonna reload real quick. Uh, give that to Gretch. She doesn't have a lot of. She isn't as heavily armored as the rest of us. Taking a bit. But like I said, I'm keeping this formula book. Gretch of the Lictards gets a Ring of Protection plus one. Is that, is that in the items? I would love it if it was in the items. Ring. Ring, 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 ring. Nope. fine. Ring of protection plus one. Uh, um, I believe the ring of protection gives you just, just flat defense. Okay. And if you don't mind, I want these thieves tools as well. Oh, it's deflection bonus. Okay. Yeah, sure. Take them. I don't need them. Um, masterwork. These tools. These tools. So now. So now he has. Uh, I 
think there are the Master of Thieves tools in here. Thieves tools. There we go. Thieves tools masterwork. Which should give him a plus two circumstance bonus on disabled device. Not that he needs it, but hey. And uh, with the uh, alchemy book, he will learn... What will he learn? from Kravis. He will learn a lot from Kravis. Well, okay, he he already knows Cure Light Wounds and True Strike and Fire Belly. But he will get, he will also get Heightened Awareness, Identify. No, he has Identify. He will get Heightened Awareness, Blurred Movement, uh, and anticipate peril um, after um, preparing uh, st after studying them from a I actually need to look up uh, alchemy alchemist real quick because I don't actually I mean it, it functions the same way as reading out of an, another uh, wizard spell book. Ba da 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 Oh, okay, so, um, it, I'll just, I can roll, um, instead of having him roll Spellcraft, uh, he can actually probably roll Craft Alchemy instead, uh, which is fine. Uh, so, do, 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 do. uh, actually, is there Craft? Okay, no. Um, so, ba -da -ba -da -ba, going back to Spellcraft. Sp uh, nope, that's not Spellcraft. Spellcraft. Uh, f DC 15 plus the spell level. So all these would be... Um, I think that would take a bit, though. Yeah, it would take an hour per level. Um... So he's just doing this like preemptively. Doop doop doop. Uh you would get two of them. Um like once they're done. Uh Okay, so yeah, for today he'll he'll learn um Blurred movement and anticipate peril. Or no. Blur blurred movement and heightened awareness. Um. So. But th that'll eff effectively take place, um. After they are done with this whole adventure. Uh. Well. We made quite a fine. We should probably dump their bodies. Why? why? Why are we dumping their bodies? They have tenter mortex. Okay. You do realize that that's how tenter mortex give birth, right? Oh, right. And we can't have, we just got rid of this. We can't have babies. 
crawling around. Right? So they take a few moments. Um, oh, uh, blah, frick, I almost forgot. Divest them of their gold as well. Um, add that to the loot. Where did I put the damn loot list? Um, shooby dooby doop, shooby dooby deep. Um, Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. Uh, eight gold. Oh, let's make that nine gold and uh, one silver. And then Fifty platinum, uh, five gold, and eight silver, and then we will, <clears throat> um, and then we will duba 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 add, uh, yeah. You know, well, you know what? Let's add Elsana stuff, anyways, because they technically found her first. Um. So, I believe Star Knife, Cold Iron Star Knife, uh, and, ooh, she actually has Platinum on her. Six Platinum. Uh, okay, so total for everybody is... In the loot list, fifty six platinum, seven gold, two silver, two copper pieces. Oh, masterwork flute as well. A masterwork flute. Um, and the magic longsword. Worth a hundred gold. Plus one long sword. Plus one medium long sword. An appropriate distinction. Um. There we go. Uh, so, should we explore the rest of the place? The rest of the place. Well, there is the whole second level that we haven't, we don't know anything about. Oh, right, right. Yeah, we should probably do something about that, huh? <laughs> Come on, let's get to it. And they find themselves down here. He's taken two damage. Um, so they find themselves. No, I don't want the F hound. Um... what the medallion does. Oh, the medallion, um, the Sahedron medallion, um, I believe it should be in here, actually. Um, uh, Mm 
Medallion. Mm, nope. Oh, I, I know where it, it probably is. Um, over here. Magic items. Um, the... Well, at the very least, it's in the back of, like, the actual book. Oh, no, here we go. It's a hand-drawn medallion. Uh, it's a medallion that uh, has a, hangs on leather cord. It's a silver disc inscribed with the Sahitron sign, which is, um, you know, the seven-pointed star. Um, by concentrating on a scrying device, such as a rune well, the rune lord can sense the world through the medallion's wearer, uh, through the senses of the medallion's wearer. Um... It gives the wearer plus one resistance on all saving throws. So it's effectively a amulet of resistance. Plus, once per day is a free action, it may be commanded to bestow the effects of false life upon the wearer. Uh, if placed on a dead body, uh, it uh, gives the effects of gentle repose. Um... So if I could, like, shove this into someone's inventory, that'd be cool. The question is who? Probably Gretch. Hey, Gretch, can I give this to you? Okay, it's a handout. Um... But we'll we'll get to that. Didn't I turn off? There we go. Nope. There we go. So E five. The party goes into this room um, it's an L-shaped hallway that ends in a pair of stone doors with depictions of two skeletons uh, reaching out to clutch a skull between them well the east hallway which would be this thing with the circle on it um, narrows down to frame a circular carving of what seems to be an immense stack of Tens of thousands of gold coins that rises from floor to ceiling. Uh. Zabas goes to grab some of the coins, but realizes that it is more or less... Uh, a stone pillar. Uh, that's disappointing. And he gives a little look over. That's your eyes are good. Yeah. Look, take a look at this for me. What am I looking for? Huh? I don't know something out of the ordinary. I don't see anything. Hey, Gretch. What do you want? Come here. Take a look at this. Oh my god. Yaller? Is she gonna see anything? Yaller? After being called over, goes, You are. I can expect. Zabas to be blind. He, he, part of his face is messed up. 
and merch. I guess your stupid mask got in the way of your face. Uh, and Yaller points out uh, coin slots at the base of the pillar. Um, uh, well, what do we do with them? Um, how many coin slots are there? You know, it doesn't actually say how many coins you need to do. Um, because in order to unlock this door, right, you need to uh, insert at least one gold piece into each slot. But how many slots are there? Oh, to the left and right. So, spend two gold, and it does its thing. Okay. So, you want to spend two gold and open this thing? I mean, at this point... At this point, we have more gold than William will ever need. So, two gold pieces is nothing. Sure, spend the money. And the column grinds down noisily to reveal the area beyond... Um, why don't we go from, uh, left first and see what's up? Sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> I don't really care. Well, I do, but I don't know about these rooms if they don't have anything in them. Uh, in the top mo so in EH, we have a sort of barren looking room. With a dais on an upraised dais upon which there's a uh, marble throne. On each side of the throne, there are um, statues of a man clutching a book and glaive. Uh, there's a ghostly figure on the throne. Uh, he seems to be addressing an audience as he moves his hand about, his fingers decorated in hooked rings. But the words coming out of his mouth are in a strange language. Merch nearly leaps at the man before he realizes that uh, he's ethereal. Well, that's fucking creepy. Whatever. What's in the next room? Uh, E9. There is... Uh, the room contains three low tables. Uh, their tops covered in strange... Uh, torture and medical implements. 
or torture implements, depending on how you use them, worth a thousand gold pieces each. Or blah, blah, blah. no, knock a zero off of that, and not each. It's um medical equipment worth a hundred gold. Wow, I don't know why I said thousand gold each. That's wrong. Um, on the easternmost table, there is another seven-pointed star. Um, that they can pick up. Ah, what do you think this is for? Well, if I had to guess, it goes to that last door. Oh. Well, let's open her up then. And they use the strange Sahidron key that they found to open up the door to E10. Uh, the room is mostly lit with... Um, primarily lit by a ten-foot-long pit of flickering fire that fills the room with the strange humid heat and the smell of burning hair. Um, there are also about a dozen candles that are burning, but not melting. Uh, the pit... Uh, suddenly, something from within the pit speaks. <sighs> Goblins. To think that ones to open the door would be goblins. And Merch draws his great club. Who the fuck? Yes, show yourself. And a creature that the that this group would know as a greater bar guest materializes within the pit. And Gr Gretch's mouth just like falls open. Yaller looks to the rest of the group like, "Are you seeing this?" Merch grips his great club a little tighter and uh, Zoppus' jaw sets a little bit. A greater bargast. I did not expect to find one of you here. Indeed. Tell me, what are your names, little one? He looks to the rest of the party. Uh, our tribes may mean nothing to you, so I'll just give you our names. I am Zobus. This one is Merch. This one is Gretch. And this one is Yala. We have come here in search of what would be the rest of our to search the rest of what would be our domain. Your domain. Interesting. If this is, in fact, your domain, O oh Great One, then we will leave as soon as possible. This is not my domain, Zobus. This circle keeps me here, bound by one as more ancient than you. If you would release me, I would return home. And 
this place would be yours to do with as you wish. We would love to assist you, Lord Malfeshkinor. Malfeshkinor. But we do not know how to dispel this magic. trying to see if there is a way to dispel this. Dooby 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 doo. I don't think there is because the way Malfeshkinor is sealed is, um, well, okay, plain dispelling the magic is, what level is binding? Binding, 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 yeah. <coughs> my throat. Eighth level. Ugh. So yeah, with spellcraft, it they wouldn't even be able to really um, figure out how to uh, they because in order to identify a spell, uh, the DC with, with spellcraft is fifteen plus the Uh, pardon me. Uh, 15 plus the level of spell. Resulting in a DC 23. Um, and this thing, the duration lasts for a while. Um, with a little bit of time, uh, Okay, yeah, with, um, they, we'll say Zabas takes an hour. Uh, yes, my lord, this is indeed uh, a high-level spell. As I said, we do not have the means with which to uh, get rid of it. Useless as ever. But uh, what if we were to find a way to um, dispel it? Very well. Do this for me and I will aid you in any way I can. It may take months, my lord. <sighs> Fine. 
Take as long as you need. But you will bring to me offerings. I require sustenance. Not for my health, for I do not need to eat to survive. But I have a hunger yet that must be sated. Go do this for me. And the items here and this area is yours. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Uh, and the item in question is a ring of, uh, I guess while he was researching that, you know, the rest of them could look through the area. Uh, they do find a coffer. Um, uh, the coffer itself is worth 100 GP and is made out of silver, but the real treasure is in a little pile of white sand uh, is a ring of force shield, uh, which uh, basically it generates a shield sized wall of force that stays with the ring and can be wielded by the wielder as if it were a heavy shield. Um, it, it has no ACP or arcane spell failure chance. <laughs> Since it is weightless and encumbrance free. Uh, though this special f ring of force shield is... Um, the shield is in the... Sh it manifests as the... Seven pointed star, the Sahedron rune. Um, can be wielded by the wearer as a heavy shield. Does anybody on the party know? Uh, Feral Masher. Um, uh, lose proficiency with medium armor. Um, barbarians can wield shields. Um, I don't think witches can can do shields. Uh, nope. Uh, Bard. Well, it, it is encumbrance free. So, if anyone were to, um, if anyone were to take this, um, that's a free plus two AC anybody um well these are certainly mighty gifts my lord we will do what we can well, we do have corpses of our fallen brethren. If you, if you were to want those, we will bring them down to you once we are done exploring. Perhaps we can find more uh, offerings to your greatness. <sighs> Do that. I will wait here, as I've done for the last 
thousand years. Okay. Uh, they all sort of back out. Hey, what the fuck? Sure, I can still hear us. Yeah, let's. They they and they go back to where they found um, the body of Elsana, while I. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? A bar guest. There's a bar guest trapped here. Trapped! Who the hell trap you can trap a bar guest? That is what I am wondering. Oh, well, I am glad that there's a bar guest here. Yeah. The fact that it is, uh, in fact, captured is distressing. Agreed. It is certainly Certainly odd. That thing said it was here for a thousand years. I, uh, I swear to God, I cannot. I, I'm trying to. I have an idea. I'm sorry to interrupt the narration. I have an idea of what merch should sound like, but for the life of me, I cannot seem to wrangle his... I can't get a grip on his freaking accent. It's as wily as an actual goblin. <sighs> let, me, let me take a sip. Remember, folks, stay hydrated, and if you're doing a lot of talking, then definitely stay hydrated, because it goofs up your throat if you don't. He said he was here for a thousand years. That's a long time. Indeed. Indeed. Distressingly a long time. I'll admit I have my doubts. Doubts? What doubts? Why well, there's a bar guest? We all know that bar guests would eat us just about as soon as they. Uh, as they would help us. <sighs> J 
should we really release it? You're asking if we should release it or not? Yes, that's what I'm asking. Because we don't have the means of dispelling that spell. And if I had to guess, that ghost, that ghost man, that's the one that cast that spell. And if that Bargash has been there for a thousand years, and that spell is still there, I think I see what you're driving at, Sabas. <sighs> that man is still technically alive. Uh, what was the draw of New Hollyers, bro? Sorry, I'm trying to, like, I really should have done this before. Um, her bow is a plus three draw. Same as, I want to say same as Pythasmus. Um, masterwork weapons. I can't remember what masterwork gives you off the top of my dome. Um, but I do know that. Okay, yeah. So, there's actually two longbows. One with a plus three draw, which New Alia had, and one with a plus four draw, which Ruthasmus had. Just do what we can, and if 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 that if that thing gets released, then good. At the very least, it'll get released when we're not here. Um. Speaking of which, you know, talking about doing what we can. Um. I was wondering something. Well, don't take forever. Spit it out. Those long shanks. They're, they're from the town. Yes, we know this. They came here to stop. Not really us, but you, you get what I mean. Stop the ones that we killed. Okay. So... Do 
think we could go back to, or go to the town? Why? Why would we go to the town? We got everything we need here. We got a place to live, ample food. Well, uh, the, for the most part, we have to go back to where, to our people and let them know that the Thistletops have been all but eradicated. And that at the very least, they have a new chieftain. You being the sole survivor. <laughs> Damn right. The point is, though, what if we could get more gold and get, you know, a lot of good stuff? We'll get hanged, fed to dogs. And all sorts of bad stuff if we go to that town. But if we tell them that we're the ones that stopped that stopped everything, that their heroes died, we might get some good stuff. But I see your point. We honestly have a lot of stuff. I know that at least you have one of those magic bags. But let's be honest, we have far too many expensive things here. None of which we can use. if we tell them that we helped or we did it they won't kill us right away and we'll be able to get plenty of money What, uh, what room is E6? Okay. Uh, I'd say for the purpose of this, they'd be over here. Man, I just realized there's like a, a lot of, there's like three resistance items here. And with the money they have, they could easily buy a fourth. Because there's the Tehedron Medallion, which is an amulet of resistance plus one already. Two cloaks of resistance, says. Um... Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Fine. Let's go and talk to the long shanks after we're done here. But if they turn on us, I'm killing as many as I can. Almost done here with the 
Loot. Uh, Worth twenty five gold, and then the actual gold amount from <sighs> from what's her face, Lyrie. Uh, Sixty three plus twenty seven. It's a lot of money. And is there any other... I'm just checking it, because at this point... Oh, there's that. Okay. Do 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 do. Ba bum bum ba 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 ba. Da 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 da. Uh, with that wall of ring of force shield. Uh, oh, it doesn't take any sort of. Oh, it activated and deactivated as well as a free action. Um. I mean, if I give it to her, it'll just be always on, basically. Uh, we'll worry about that once we're done. Um, and I'll probably, like, distribute items to the party, uh, once we start talking to the people in town. Um, if we do that this episode. Well... We've got one pathway we haven't checked. So, let's get going then. And they enter this area maybe not there maybe like here oh either way they're gonna be jumped uh in this area there's four pillars supporting a domed ceiling there's a few dark alcoves as well containing standing sarcophagi sarcophagi um and a statue of a stern man wielding a glaive and a book in the southern part of the chamber. Uh, it's that guy again. Anyone have an idea who the fuck this guy is? Um. Nope, no idea. Um, I, I wouldn't know it either. After all, he's a long shanks. Ooh, Zobbis came close. Needed a DC 30. Oh, is this it? Is this all the stuff? Um, let me I'll take a round. Okay. Well, we should probably find 
see if there's secret doors or anything. You like that one? Yes, merch like that one. And merch goes over to the, to the hidden door right as the shadows begin to elongate and attack. Ah! Shit! What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> and there I thought things were going to be boring. Well, good. Um, uh, page 245 of the beast area. Shadows! Shadow men! All right. Yaller. Of the seven tooth. <clears throat> Can I? Hello? Not dead. Oh. Gretch of the Lictor tribe. Merch of the Thistletop. Ooh, 23, barely beating Gretch's 22. And where the hell? There he is. Zabus of the Moss Woods with an 11. And these shadowy boys going from top to bottom. <coughs> they have. Nope, nope, that's wrong. One, two, three. Okay, top to bottom. So a ten, a five, and an eight. That, you hate to see that. <clears throat> that's one thing you hate to see. Is the enemy turns. Or, uh, no, that's a five. Uh, the enemies get to be all clumped up. So, merch is first. Oh boy. Um, well, this is fun. Because these boys are incorporeal. Which means that um, he's going to go down to the bottom one and try and bite it. And his bite hits nothing. And he goes, what the fuck? I can't bite these things. Um, <clears throat> these are undead. So, um, nope, she doesn't know anything about them other than they are called shadows. Well, if you can't hit them, then Uh, she's gonna look at the one next to her and try and grab it with frostbite. 
Uh, her hand gains the sort of purplish, blackish look of a hand damaged by frostbite as she grabs at the uh, creature. Um, and touch AC of 15. She misses. Burns the spell. Yaller is going to do what she does best and start singing about fire and uses her blazing blade performance. So now, um, Hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess it's a magical fire effect. Um, and she's gonna five foot step away from the nearest shadow. Well, hold on. Um, bardic performance. Uh, okay, no, it, it doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. Uh, Zabus is going to take his club. Now has fire on it. And deal seven damage to the closest one. Which almost has like this whispering shriek as it's struck with the weapon. Uh, top one going for Gretch. Uh, incorporeal touch attack passes through natural armor, armor, and shields. Uh, although deflection bonuses and force effects such as mage armor work normally against it. Um, I will say Gretch probably does have the Ring of Force Shield, but it's uh, it functions as if it were a or a heavy shield, so it would pass through. Um, so it'd be. Basically going at touch. At touchy. Gonna reach out and touch somebody. It's gonna try and reach out and touch her, but do not a. The one next to merch. Gonna try and do the same. Which sucks for merch. Um, because man, uh, these things deal. Strength damage. Ooh. Merch takes four strength damage. 
Oops. What? Hey, you, why are you not taking? I'm gonna have to reload. Well, no, I don't want to reload again. Does it take on anyone else? Yeah, it takes on her, but not on Merch, who is being attacked. Well, okay, it's... Right, he's got probably... Well, I don't know. Um, either way. The other one's gonna try and attack... Zabas and miss. Merch is, doesn't like the cold chill of whatever the hell he just felt. And he's gonna rage... Um, I'll just count his modifiers two less, and he's going to try and bite the thing again. Wow, and miss. Uh, Gretch. Bone shaker probably wouldn't work on this because it needs bones. Um... Oh, wait, it works against undead. So, yeah, she's gonna take out her bone fetish and rattle it at the. Well, she's gonna five foot step back and do that. Rattle it at the uh, shadow that attacked her, which needs to make a will save. Fortitude save. Which is a d20 plus 3. It, it suddenly, you know, it, the, these shadows are like, kind of waving spookily, but this one suddenly goes rigid, and Gretch smiles as the undead creature uh, is now under her control. And it's gonna... She's gonna take an immediate action to have it move uh... Well, actually, is this mindless? No, it's not mindless. Okay. Um, to move up against... Uh, well, now, here's the thing. Negative energy effect. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, you can provoke attacks for opportunity as normal. So she's she actually gonna have it move. Um. These things can move at 40 feet per turn. So she's gonna have it basically move this way and provoke attacks of opportunity. Uh, so Zavis is gonna swing at it with his club um, and deal. Seven points of damage. Yaller is gonna use her flaming longsword. Not hit anything. Merch with his flaming mouth. Uh, it'd be. One plus three, that's four, uh, plus fire, five damage. Uh, Yaller is going to take her sword, keep up the song, and swing again. Uh, with flanking, with flanking, she'll hit it. Fire sword. Um. Oh no! Wait, it takes half damage from corporeal source. So, butta 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 butta. Um. Ah, oh, shoot. Uh, I I can tell. Um. So four plus uh, seven. Um. Plus three. Um, seven. Uh, five. Okay, and six. So this will take three damage. Zabas is going to take a five foot step back and lob us a grenade. Uh, using his precise bombs to miss. Uh, uh, merch with the splash. He's going to attack this one. Uh, 25 on a range touch. Um, yep, that'll, I think that'll hit. Yeah, it's 20 feet. Okay. Uh, 10, it takes 5 damage. These things are annoyingly. Tough. Yes, indeed, but I, I at least have this uh, spell. And on its turn, it gets a uh, action to save. Uh, so it would be a fortitude roll. And it shakes off the spell and Gretch frowns. But that was its, uh, that was its turn. Uh, 
This one's going to keep attacking Merch. Uh, man, it just won't let me do it. Uh, that's fine. Uh, unfortunately, he's at 13. Uh, strength now. So he only has a plus one to his attacks. And, and strength based damage. Uh, the other one's going to attack Yaller and miss. Yeah, it just barely misses. Merch. Uh, it does blazing blades? Uh, okay, so yeah, he's gonna switch to his great club. Now he's been raging for two rounds. Uh, 13 will not hit, unfortunately. Man, that is unfortunate. Uh, Gretsch. Now that she knows that these things are undead. She's going to reach out with a ranged touchy. Um, with a uh, touch attack. And burn one. Cure light wounds on it. Dealing four damage. Uh, Yaller will continue her song and attack it again with the longsword. Um... damage oh wait uh, the other one would have taken splash damage um, take splash damage uh, 7 plus 3 or a uh, but a but a but a but a um, oddly enough uh, 7 damage well which would be 4 damage And Zabas is gonna lob us another one. And do very well for himself. Uh, wow. 15 damage? It's half of 15. Shoot. Uh, 7. Oopsie. I've made my calculator big. Well, I mean, at the one that's attacking Merch, and uh, this one takes five damage. Doesn't like that. Um, 
So it's going to go after him. Uh, provoking attacks from Merch and uh, Yaller. Uh, and Merch will actually probably kill it. Because he did 15 damage. So that's 7 damage. So that's enough to cause the shadow to discorporate. With a... <sighs> it vanishes into bits of shadow. I, I I realized as I said that I, that I'm just like man that's a great way to describe a shadow dying. Um, the one that's in front of Merch still gonna try and hit him though. Still gonna do its thing and miss for once. Uh, this one is. Gonna make a choice. One being Gretch, two being Yaller. It's gonna go for Gretch. And. Hit. Hit her? No, just misses her. Uh, Merch. Still a raging away. What is this? Oh, cool. Um, gonna try clubbing. Um, no, wait, hold on. I may have done this wrong. Okay, 15 uh, still hits. 14 does not hit, unfortunately. Uh, Gretch. Gretch is gonna... Well, they found some potions. Um, does not get the touch attack off though, so she burns her other cure light. Yaller, 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 do what you do. Ooh. Um. Okay. So she, nope, she doesn't crit. Uh, rolled a natural 19, plus two on her thing. Plus two plus one. What? Oh, uh, right, because it's a masterwork sword. Gotcha. Um, but rolled a four on a confirmation roll so that six damage so three damage total um Zabas is actually going to throw a bomb at the he's gonna just start tucking bombs at the statue so that he hits them with uh, splash damage. Um, so he does four normally. So he'll do eight, which will be which will total to four, which will kill one of the shadows and nearly kill the other one. But the one that he killed is not the one that was threatening merch. Who gets another hit and deals another two points of strength damage? Our boy is at 11 strength. He has no modifiers. Even while raging, he has no modifiers. Oh, dear criminy Christmas. Um, he's lost, how much strength? Two, uh, six, uh, ten points.
when he stops raging, he will have seven strength. And Gretch does not have lesser restoration prepared. At least for today. So he's going to swing at it and not hit it. And he's growing more and more frustrated. He just rolled a four. Gretch is going to go up. Or no, wait, she doesn't have a... Oops, nope, let's not elongate the, the goblin. Um, shoot. She doesn't have... Well, she has a cure moderate, but it's best to not do that. Um... Burning Blades works on blades. Blazing Blades. Um, oh no, uh, successful attacks with manufactured natural weapons. Yeah, Gretch is gonna shoot the thing with her crossbow, or try to, but with firing in a melee, not gonna do it. Yaller's gonna go over. Still singing away. Um, she's gonna go for flanking because she has enough movement. Um, and she's going to uh, sword, and she actually hits it with flanking, but that's only f two damage total. And Zavis is going to come up and hopefully finish this before Merch has like no... Uh, freaking strength left. Seven. Okay. Yeah, it's gone. Uh, seven total. It's gone. Because they have one HP left. Uh, Merch raged for four, so he is fatigued for eight. He is no longer raging. But he does have minus 10 strength. Which it won't take for whatever reason. I don't like those things. Why? Why not? I feel weaker. They touched me and it was cold and I feel weaker. If we end up fighting anything else, I'm going to be exhausted. Well, then we'll just go to the town tomorrow. What? Uh, whatever. Um, I'm actually gonna add the ring of force shield to her thing. Uh, ring of force shield sehedron. To AC to our good girl Gretch. Um... Let's give, uh, let's actually give Merch a, uh, nope, he's got global resistance. Let's give, uh, 
Zavis, a cloak of resistance. I mean, at the same time, like, I want to give Gretch the Sihidron, um, necklace, the medallion. But, like, she already has so much. Um, she will take that wand of magic missile though. Wand of magic missile. Scroll of mine image. Scroll of minor image. There we go. Um, loo -loo -loo -loo. Doo -doo. Uh, how many? Oh, I'll figure this out later. What I might do is, since there's the one area left, which is uh, E7. I'll, um, <sighs> well, they, they, they probably wouldn't head out, like, immediately tomorrow. Um, but I mean, that's still a lot of points gone. Anyways. Um, so they go and investigate the last area. Which, they find some stairs that open up into a pool. Um... And Merch goes... Eh, water. Well. Whatever. I... I'm done. Let's go. Well, hold on, there might be stuff in the water. Oh, you, do you want to go check what's in the water? Mm. Yeah, kind of. And as, well... Go on then, get in the water. Though as Yaller goes to dip her tootsies in the water, uh, there's... Uh, they, they can see that there is a large golden helmet kind of, just kind of in the water. And it turns to look at them. And Yaller goes... Ah, uh, it's not normal. And then it lifts up, and there's a crab inside of it. Oh! Well, shit. Ah, uh, great. Time to be exhausted. Ooh, y'all got a seven. Gretch. About to make use of her... 
new wand, I'd imagine. Uh, merch with the 21. Yeah, I got Zaba selected. Good, good, good. Giant crab with a plus three initiative. <gasps> Giant enemy crab. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, yeah, merch is going to swim out. He swims out okay. Um, swimming. What are the rules for swim? How far do you move and swim? I believe this is calm water until you get out to where the crab is. Uh, quarter speed. Well, that's fun. He gets like this far out and has to stop. Actually, no, he can move half as a full action. So, he gets this far out. Zabas. Just gonna go, go up to the shore. Sigh. And chuck a bomb. Chuck a bomb, chuck a chuck a bomb. Ooh, goodness, he misses. Um. Okay. Oh shoot, I should have been. Oh, I forgot about. They have to reflex for. Um. Do they reflex for half? Yeah, uh, I got a reflex for half. Um, okay, I totally forgot about that with the uh, shadows. The giant enemy crab reflexes does not take half damage. It does take four damage. I have so many freaking things in the way. Giant enemy crab goes up to merch. Uh, brr. I forget if that is a. Uh, if rage is a standard action. And then rage is free action. So he starts rage swimming. Um,. Is that right? Can I enter rage as a free action? Yep, enter rage as a free action. Okay. So he's rage swimming. Um, the crab is going to move up to him and try and hit him with a couple of claw attacks. And hits on one of them. Uh, he's got 52 health. Um, 1d4 plus 6 plus grab. Okay. Um, so he's got like 
he's at 42 now. Or he, he, he'd be at 50. Ah, oh, shoot. Um. Yep, he'd be at 50. So he's at 43. Um. And it's going to try to grab. Uh, yeah, no, it's going to grab him. I don't even have to look at his CMD to know that that's going to grab the man. Because his CMD is garbage right now. Gretch is going to move out here and start making use of that uh, wand of hers that you got. Uh, pew for two. Y'all are, uh, y'all are just going to start singing again. Um, no, she's going to, she's going to stay out of the water because if she start if she goes under the water, then that's it for her, uh, blazing blades. Merch. Merch is of the opinion of, oh, you're going to grab me? I'm going to bite you. Um, 13, though. Not going to do it on giant enemy crab. Zabas throws another one. Uh, it is... Grabbed, I believe. Uh, it is grappled. Um, it is grappling. Uh, so... Minus for the decks. Oops, I already rolled. Oh, no, I didn't. Um, yeah, that'll hit him. Nine damage. Missing merch. Giant enemy crab is gonna constrict. Um... Well, it's gonna it's gonna uh, try and maintain the grapple. Yeah, it's gonna maintain the grapple, and then it's going to constrict. Cause I mean, uh, man, with a minus, well, with a zero strength, merch has four. Seven, seventeen, uh, CMD. Uh, currently. So it's gonna deal eight damage to him. Gretch will pew. Deal four damage. Y'all are well. Y'all are well. Shortbow. Um. 
Minus four two tax. Um so it's got like plus two armor and plus five natural. Um, well, it, it's, uh, no, she misses. Um, merch, seeing that biting, it's not working again, it's gonna, it's gonna swing that club and do nothing. Uh, Zabas has his last bomb. After that, he's going to have to switch to his crossbow. Giant enemy crab meets uh, it, uh, his CMD. I, I was stunned, confused. Uh, he deals eight points of damage. Um, man, he's gonna have less health. Uh, like when this is all said and done. Uh, pew for five. Pew for five. Uh, do 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 do. Um. Actually, let me keep, let me actually keep track of, uh, like, how much health damage this, this boy has taken, because, uh, five, nope, eight, plus eight, plus, uh, seven, Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, y'all are y'all are get dollar. Y'all are gonna shoot with her bow. And miss even well. Yeah, yeah, she's gonna miss. She needs an eighteen. Merch. Gray club. Nothing. He's rolling so low. I feel so bad for him. Uh, Zabas now switching to crossbow. Uh, man, dude. Well, no, he, he's, uh, there's also firing into melee. Um, so that's a 16, he needs an 18. Uh huh. Continues to constrict. Um,. Gretch will continue to pew. Um. Yaller will, as a free action, toss the, uh, Wand of Shocking Grasp to, um, to, um, Zavis and shoot again. And, oh, wait, shoot. Well, it doesn't matter. No one's been hitting with their bow shots. Um, 
and then she's gonna shoot man not, just not doing huh um He's trying. So I was going to grab the thing and uh, full round over. Full round swim over. Turn to grab. Gonna maintain that grab. And just about kill our poor boy. Um, oh man, he, oh no, it's getting to the point with damage where our boy is gonna be, our boy Merch is gonna be in trouble. Oops. Um, Zabas is going to make a melee touch attack. What's this thing's touch AC? Very low. Um, shocking grasp. Uh, 1d6 plus 1. 4 damage. Giant crab. Giant crab. Trying to snap our boy in half. Holds on till he stops moving. Um, at which point, Merch lets go, and he is, man, how, how much is he in the hole? Um, minus 44, shoot, okay, he's, uh, no longer raging. And he is seven con in the hole, um, or a minus seven in the hole, and just kind of bobbing there. Um, but he will soon sink if nothing is done. Gretch desperately pews. And y'all are, at this point, just stops singing and, like, goes out to get merch. But starts floundering herself. Merch makes... Fortitude save to bleed. Uh, okay. Well, here's the fun part. Drowning environmental rules. Okay. Uh, he has to. Oh dear. Uh, 
Make constitution checks immediately. Oh, hey, I rolled a four, dude. Save. That, that was supposed to be a constitution save. Um, well, that's fun. Uh, okay. Uh, con save to, uh, uh, okay, so, got submerged, the five was for the submerge, um, took a point of damage, con save again, uh, to not bleed, takes another point of damage. Uh, con save again on this round to not drown. Um, Zabas. I'm. What the fuck is this? I had a phantom thing there. Zabas is gonna touch with the zapping wand and kill the crab with a it dies terribly. Um and then he's going to I really should have been having them do swim checks the entire time. Um, well, they, they can hold their breath for a number of rounds equal to twice their con score. Or, yeah, twice their con score. So he's, um, he has merch, but he's not going anywhere. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, that was, he's underwater at this point. Now he has merch, um... And, yeah, he's able to get him to safety. And Gretch immediately pumps a Cure Moderate into Merch. Um, is that minus nine? But with 11, it is brought to... <laughs> Uh, he said we're going. He said we're going tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, I don't like crabs either. And we'll say the party takes an hour to add more loot to their stuff. A jade amulet of natural armor plus one. And... Four hundred GP in precious stones because it's it says in the book it's like um forty precious stones worth ten GP each so you know easy math and then we have the money the money money um sixty three. Platinum. Uh, 
Uh, well, 63 platinum in gold. Uh, and then 3,500 silver. Which ends up being something like... Like 35 platinum. Or no. Yeah. 35 platinum. Um. So they got a lot of spending money. Uh. Let's see here. With. Um, I also gotta keep track of, okay, he's at seven. For the Knight's Rest, he's back up to eight. Gretch can pump three lesser restorations in him for the, for the day. Um. Do, do, do. Uh, four. She may not have to. Um, uh, one. She may have to. Uh, one. He's at f 14 strength, which is good. He, he should be fine within a day. Um, plus it takes... Uh, well, it'll take under a day. Since they have their goblin dogs, it'll take under a day to get there. Um, Yaller does not have that. Oh, I forgot. I forgot some... Oh, kind of, I keep forgetting about so many things. Y'all are had summon monster. Ah, oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, oh, summon monster two. God damn it. Fog of war. I gotta remember these things. You could have summoned so many things with summon monster. She could have... Absolutely summoned an aquatic thing. Yeah, there's... She could have summoned, like, an octopus. What a... Yeah. Damn it, damn it. Ah, frick, 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 frick. Oh, well. I'm not perfect. <laughs> um... And I don't think Zavis has any... Healing drafts. No. Um, uh, okay. But anyways, I'm... Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's a good stopping point. Uh, so the party, to just to recap, after clearing out the area and making a deal with Malfeshkinor, the greater bar guest, the party's gonna go to Thistle... No. They're gonna go to Sandpoint. And, um... And, uh, t talk to the town guard there and be like, hey, we helped save the town. So, that's gonna be fun to deal with. But, we'll have to deal with that next time. So, until then, as always, I'm your forever DM. And I'll see you later. <laughs>